This week, the world commemorated International Holocaust Remembrance Day, which is a day where the UN, as of 2005, encourages uh, member countries of the UN to mark uh, the Holocaust and the, the murder of six million Jews, among other victims of the Holocaust. And one of the questions that arises is, why why in 2005 did they establish uh, International Holocaust Memorial Day when Yom HaShoah is already a thing and has been uh, on the Israeli and Jewish calendar since the early 1950s? Well, as to why the UN waited so long, who knows? But the reason that they chose the 27th of January is that that was the day that the Red Army liberated Auschwitz. And so it has to do with this notion of an international effort uh, to, to help, to, uh, to be involved in this conflict, and to save more Jews who would have perished. Um, Yom HaShoah, on the other hand, is commemorated on the 27th of Nisan, which A, is on the Jewish calendar, it is going to change on the Gregorian calendar every year, and is uh, in commemoration, and is specifically chosen because it was the date of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. Now, why did Israel choose that date? Interestingly, there was some debate in the 1950s, the early 1950s, actually the late 1940s, as to when Yom HaShoah should be. And it had to do with, should it be on a traditional day of mourning and fasting, like Tisha B'Av, um, or another you know, uh, fast day, or should it have its own moment. And there was, and there's still actually a little bit of controversy, um, the more orthodox communities thinking that we already have established on the Jewish calendars ways of memorializing and commemorating days of tragedy and also recognizing that this is um, such a recent tragedy and such an expansive one that we, it really requires its own day. And so, um, why did they choose the day of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising? Well, it has to do when Israel was established, there was a fair amount of frustration, survivor's guilt, um, and that sort of thing that the, that the Jewish community of Europe didn't fight back enough, didn't try hard enough. And so they picked a day where there was an uprising, where the Jews stood up and said, we're going to die anyway we should fight for our lives and so they picked this day of the Warsaw Ghetto Uprising. So it's interesting to compare the purpose of the UN which is to say that the international world intervened and helped and we should recognize that intervention and the Jewish world saying yes and we have to protect ourselves and we commemorate the day when we stand up uh, against persecution. And I think that it's important that those two things are in a balance, that there's only, uh, there's only really resolution to tragedy when the internal and external forces are working together. And so whether you commemorated this week and or will be commemorating on Yom HaShoah, the lessons are the same. And the commemoration of those who perish and of those who worked uh, and risked life and limb to save others become the crux of the holiday of the commemoration. So with that, I leave you in the hopes and the, the demand never again.